uh, I'm editing this video and I realized I didn't have an introduction, so it just kind of starts out of nowhere. So, suffice it to say, I got this car fixed and this is the introduction. Um, basically, the shifter that was in her was like some crap, probably eBay thing that broke, so I put a GSR shifter in and this is how I did it. Here I go. I edited out the last like 10 minutes of me screwing around with the wrong size wrench and all this, so just to make me look good. A closer look, it's just totally foobarred. There's like a, oh, there's actually piece of the shifter, I think, or maybe like a rubber bushing in there. This thing sucks too. If I had some spray paint, I would clean this up, but I don't, so I'm just gonna get these bolts right here off, put the new shifter in, and I'm back in business. Shifter is out. I'm gonna pop this off of here. Yeah, so the up boot's ripped. There's a plastic piece in here that I think was bad too, so I got a new one of those. So I'll put this all together on the other shifter. I have to lower the car down to get the shifter bushing pieces that I left inside of it the last 500 times I drove it. Oh yeah. I just went online and found the part numbers I needed for this and then had my local Honda dealer order them for me because I assumed that this stuff doesn't last forever. So I got the new boot, whatever the hell this thing is. We're gonna take this stuff home because I don't have my angle grinder here, which sucks because I could totally knock this out tonight. But... While the car was in the air, I also noticed that this exhaust hanger is just not on and this one is just not here at all uh, and there's a hose clamp that used to be here so i will probably get some more hose clamps or something to mount the exhaust made it back to the building uh the battery is totally dead on this car which I'm not sure how it's still running because it has an electronic ignition, but like it's so dead that the turn signals don't even turn on. But what I'm gonna do is just leave it running, throw the shifter in the CRX real quick, pull both colors out, put this one on the lift so that I can fix it. Got my shifter. Like I said, I'm gonna pop this in real quick, move these cars around, and then head to the boat. I'm taking it as a sign that I should work from the boat today since, uh, I don't know, I want to, I guess, would be the main thing. This here. Shifter is in. Lower the car down. Put my tools in my tool bag here. I'm so excited to drive this car. I haven't driven this car in a long time. I think I'm gonna take this one to the boat, and then come back and switch um, so we can drive the white car to Petoskey today. Five point harnesses look cool, and they hold you in your seat nicely but you're such a pain in a car that you drive, like, around. <laughs> Add to it these seats and the fact that I'm short and have to move the seat every time I get in and out of the car, and it's pretty much a whole procedure. But this shifter feels so good with the new, well, the new shifter with the new bushings and everything. It shifts so smooth. It's, like, notchy. It feels awesome. I forgot my uh, suction cup mount, so this thing is probably going to fall off the dash at any minute. It's so much better, look at this. It doesn't flop all around like it used to, that it's how it should be. Now I gotta get the alignment thing all set 